Hello guys, welcome to Ashley Lancelot Show. <clears throat> I'm using the Yinny mic. Just trying to get used to it, trying to reposition it for everything else as well. Uh, let me know, subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, what that sub giveaway would be Diablo Eternal Edition. We'll be talking about is what will happen to GameStop when they get bought out, or what will happen in a few years, 10 years from now. I believe that GameStop is going to become another blockbuster. Um, if you're young, don't know what blockbuster is, it was a, a place that you used to rent VHS and DVDs uh, from. Um, so it's kind of like used to be like Netflix. They used towards the end, they changed their model to uh, renting it online. They will deliver the DVDs to you, to the household, but it was too late for them. And uh, they basically uh, went down, uh, went out of business, just like Hollywood videos. And there's a whole bunch of video rentals back in the days that I went to. Um, Blockbuster was one of them, and Hollywood Video was the, the second one that we pretty much go to when I was a kid. Those were places to rank games back then. I used to, um, uh, when your PS1 came out, my dad uh, installed a mock chip in my PS1 so we could play burnt PS1 games. So we actually just rent the, the PS1 games, burn it onto a seat, a desk, and I just played on my PS1. I just we just pay like three four dollars just for that you know that three days of a rental and just return it the next day um so yeah um as well as gamestop is it's becoming more relevant because due to downloading contact the contacts online streaming services online and also you know be, um you have other ways to buy pre-ordering games just like amazon you know, pre-order a new egg, um, play Asia for games that doesn't that, that they will not release it to America, but you can buy the Japanese style games like I did for Sano Kagura Peach Ball. I bought it off Play Asia. I'm still waiting for it in the mail. <clears throat> Other than that, uh, GameStop used to be really good back then, um, and it just slowly went down business. I bet I feel like they lost touch base with people uh, there. I still stop by there some time to time just to uh, see what used games they have. A lot of the used games they have are basically crap. Uh, they do have sales like you buy two, get one for free or half off, stuff like that. I'm still, you know, elite rewards member. I don't know how long that will last. You know, I get my money's worth. I uh, usually get like a stack of used games. Uh, I don't really buy brand new games on Amazon due to the fact that, you know, you know, I can get, you know, if I pre-order on Amazon, I get my $10 gift card back then. I used to pre-order everything just for a 10% uh, for the pre-ordering. Now uh, they removed that. So I'm going to be while I buy another uh, uh, new game, I'm buying new game used because the price wise and uh, my budget wise is not enough. Um, won't be able to afford uh, enough of it. <clears throat> but you know when uh, they had ThinkGeek, they had a lot of collectibles and so on. And I keep seeing these collectibles from ThinkGeek and GameStop. You know, a lot of them are like you know on sale. I see a lot of Magic cards on sale. It's a very good place to buy Magic cards on GameStop. A lot of time you buy one, get one uh, another one for fifty percent off. That was a pretty good deal. Plus, if you elite uh, elite uh, rewards member, you get ten percent off as well. I think it's like twenty percent, I believe. Um, but yes. Um, GameStop's not going to be around for too long. I don't know what these companies going to do. When they buy out GameStop, they're a huge chain. Uh, one of them uh, owns uh, Spencer's and Hot Topic. But I see these uh, companies, you know, even, even Hot Topic and, and Spencer, they don't, you know, I don't see much people at the stores anymore like they used to when I was young. It's just their, their stuff just too overpriced. Uh, most of the stuff they sell um, more will be online. I can see GameStop just dedicated being online instead of uh, having a store. I, I can do see a few chain. I think one of the main thing that GameStop basically is going out of business is there's a huge, there's a crap load amount of games. There's like four GameStops, like at least a mile away from me. That's one of the main problems is there's too many GameStops around. Um, not really a big city that I move into. And it's one that's one of the issue. The second issue is uh, the, like used gaming and also basically um, selections of other stuff. It's not great. Uh, I believe that people are stop you know keep don't want to trade in stuff to GameStop due to the fact that they get ripped off. They go around and you know you know if you like if I had a six dollar game and I trade it in, I'll get like twenty five bucks. Then they turn around and sell it for fifty eight bucks. You know. 
is is like I'd rather sell the game for you know more than fifty percent of the what the game is actually worth. But that is what it is, you know. People companies being greedy, uh, just too many, and the business model is just not going to be holding up anywhere. Uh, Fye uh, used to uh, there's not much left, but there are some left. It used to be uh, like a retro pop uh, video video store. You know, you go there, you buy your uh, old or used or new DVDs, and you have like those retro pops. Like you buy a like Chucky doll and, and Freddy Krueger buy shirts there as well. And Fye went down business too. <clears throat> you see GameStop doing the same thing. After a while, GameStop is just gonna be liquidated. They could be just you know just you know just don't sell brand new games or you know basically have it you know just dedicate it. I can see it surviving online. And only online because everything now is like being bought and sold online instead of going to a store and picking it up uh, physical copies couldn't be gone probably in 10 years or so don't really know until we hit 10 years because everything is coming cloud service this download this but my problem with that is you know I would have a physical copy if it's the same price as a digital uh, copy <clears throat> because you know with the physical copy I can actually you know hold its value with the digital copy I won't be able to hold its value a lot of times you know companies say you you know you you cannot own these games you know you pay for it and you won't own it uh, for example iTunes if I die I can't give you my iTunes music um, because I don't own it that's that's one of those uh, main thing um, this is those very very um, Shocking to all, everyone thinks that GameStop will survive and prevail. It won't, unless they change their uh, whole business model. Uh, even when they just sell used games, uh, it's a very small market for everyone. Not every you know one wants to have retro games, and retro games are ridiculously expensive nowadays. I have uh, a few retro games. I still do collect uh, as much as possible. Uh, the problem is, is that you know. You need you you don't you need to get a huge market to get an actual a company a store to do it. Um, but yeah, that's why I see GameStop becoming GameStop is slowly slowly dying, and we're seeing it time and time again. Uh, Being you know, a blockbuster, um, you know, a lot of the uh, component stores and everything else will try to eat as much of it, take all of its uh, uh, warehouse um, uh, stuff. Like games and stuff and sell it at their stores study and that's basically what's really going to happen but we'll see in 10 uh five to ten years probably less than that so hope you guys enjoy this video like subscribe and comment and i'll talk to you guys later have a good day guys bye